Yes, well, it has been a very newsworthy year. It's also been a fantastic 2015 for South African theatre. We had some amazing productions all over our beautiful country. And one such musical, David Kramer's Orpheus in Africa, is currently still blowing audiences away at the Fugard Theatre. The story sees Orpheus Makadu, a free-born son of a slave and a graduate from the Hampton Institute in Virginia, being the first African-American impresario to perform in the British colony of South Africa, where, of course, his group of musical, um, or his, his group achieved unprecedented success. Now, in studio, to tell us a bit more about this incredible musical is David Kramer himself, writer and director. Then we've got Aubrey Poo with a very impressive moustache playing Orpheus himself, <laughs> and the sensational Linnell Kennard, who plays the character Matty Allen. Um, no strangers to the show, any of you. Yes, in this garb, you do stick out a little bit, but um, great to have you guys back here. Great to have Orpheus back. David, what an unbelievable journey. Um, you must be so happy that it's had this kind of response, that it's had the legs that it's had. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's wonderful, you know, because you put a lot of work into a show like this. It, it took me about two years to, to get the whole show together. Uh, so it's great to have a long run and, uh, and a fabulous company, you know, to work with. Oh, and, he, and he was gushing over them off camera as well. <laughs> and you can see how proud he is. And, and what, a, what a story to tell. The, do you feel the pressure of telling the story just right? Because this was quite a special story, especially taking into account the time that this unfolded. Well, it's a fascinating story. You know, I, I saw the photograph uh, of this group uh, visiting Cape Town in 1890, um, dressed, <laughs> mind -blowing, like, dressed yeah. like this. And I thought, you know, who can these people be? So, you know, the, the story, as you say, it's, it's, um, it was difficult to find what the story was, you know, to tell on stage. Um, and, and so that, that took a while uh, to find, you know, oh, it's actually about the, the entertainment industry. It's about a man trying to survive in the entertainment industry, coming up against the problems that he would have come up in the British colonies. And, you know, talk about a tough crowd. Um, now, of course, Aubrey, you take the title role and you really do embody that character. How difficult was it getting into that period mindset? Did the moustache make it really easy to just fill those shoes? <laughs> talk us through your character, the, the main event. Yeah. Well, Mr Kwame has, has a well of knowledge and I think that the, the period and the narrative was researched quite well. So I think we sat around the table for a couple of days and just spoke about the period. I think the turn of the century in any narrative is quite interesting. Yeah. So we sat around the table and had that discussion for a couple of days, which, which also just informed where we were coming from as, as performers to, to retell and relive the story. What kind of a man was Orpheus? A showman. I've <laughs> <laughs> made him a bit of a showman. I love how the face <laughs> animates as you say that. Yeah. It lights up a bit, of, a bit of a showman, but I, I, I think a man filled with ambition and, and, and filled with a vision of himself and the world and, and, and what he wants to achieve. Um, and obviously he comes up, he comes up against the, the challenges that, 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 that he goes through in the narrative. But all, all around a very, a very determined man. I, I, yeah, I think yeah. that's, that's where he resonates with me. Um, now, Linnell, I have to ask you, finally, obviously you have to fall in love with this man every <laughs> night. Um, oh, <laughs> such a tough Easy job. to do, easy to do. <laughs> Talk us through the relationship that you share. Well, Matty Allen is such a fascinating character. We meet her and she's young and, and inexperienced, an opera singer who never got the chance to perform in her, in her own country. So when um, she goes off to perform with the McAdoo Company, there's a budding romance and you see how the characters go on this journey of falling in love. And, of course, it's not really Orby that I get to kiss every night. It's this moustache. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm always and picking, glue, that comes picking <laughs> glue out of my mouth at the most inopportune <laughs> moments, really. Oh, I love it. But it, it's, the reviews that have come through have been absolutely stellar. Mm. So you guys clearly are blowing audiences away. Thank you so much for this incredible true life story. I think that's the most amazing amazing part but I've heard that the performances are pretty good as well All right, guys well done thank you so much for joining us and we're going to give you a little taste of exactly what you can expect in this incredible production a little bit later in the show right now though let's see what's trending online